In this session, we will talk about the factors that led to the creation of business intelligence technology. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In the previous session, we talked about the evolution of business intelligence, how diffusion support systems came into the picture. They had their drawbacks. Then executive information systems were born. They have their drawbacks too, so that led to the creation of business intelligence systems. However, there were other factors that affected the creation of this new breed. So we are going to talk about those factors in this session. The executive information systems were not able to address all the demands of the business. They had their limitations. Although these systems were able to display data from more than one systems, but they were not something equivalent to data warehouse, for example. They were not displaying data from all the sources and also they were not very affordable and main problem was that they were mainly created for managers and executives they were not a solution for the business users then also the globalization was at its full peak companies were going global and there was a need for the head office to view the useful information that is sitting in the databases in different countries and executive information systems obviously were not able to provide that visibility so there was a need for a new breed that could address this issue more and more companies started implementing enterprise resource planning software called ERPs they are a special breed of software which provides end-to-end -end information technology solution uh, information management solution for a company so that right information could be given to the right person at the right time SAP, Oracle applications, PeopleSoft, JD Edward, there are a few examples. Now, good thing about ERPs was that they were offering single database with modular design. Each department would be using one or more modules of the software which is which is an integrated software. So all these modules are connected and at the back end there is only one database. So this was a perfect scenario for creating better solutions than uh, decision support systems and executive information systems. Now we have one database serving all the different departments. One issue that happened with initial versions of ERP, the vendors promised that once you implement this expensive solution you will get a business insight that you require directly from ERP and later on it was learned that the data is there to provide the business insight but business intelligence technology is required on top of ERP to give you that insight so this was another factor that pushed the direction towards the creation of business intelligence software the fast adoption of data warehousing technology played a pivotal role in the creation of business intelligence technology now let's take a step back and let's talk about ERP systems before ERP each department would be using their own system with their own database behind that system after the adoption of ERP at least one problem was solved now each department is using one or more modules of the same ERP software and there's a single database behind all these modules However, there might be other applications running in the company as ERP is not the only application and there might be some useful data in those other applications as well. Databases that are behind the ERP systems and that are behind most of the other operational applications that are used by company for their day-to-day -day operations are tuned in a certain way. They are tuned to capture transactions that are f happening fast in the company. So they are tuned to do the fast inserts and they're not really tuned where you can do very comprehensive queries against the database and even if you do comprehensive queries against the database it will slow down the system because there are tons of other transactions going on in the system so in order for management to perform their queries and analysis usually separate systems were created and they were called data warehouses or online analytical processing systems so the main users of ERP systems would be business users clerks and list and main users for the OLAP systems would be management that want to perform 
queries. Now, data would be transferred from the online transaction processing systems to data warehouses periodically, and obviously there would be a little lag. The data is not really fresh and up to date in warehouses, but this procedure was enough to give an opportunity to the management to perform comprehensive queries on the data that is coming from different systems running in the enterprise. So now we have a single database for storing all the raw data that is there in different places in the company. Now this is a perfect ground for creating some kind of a tool that will extract useful information out of this warehouse. So this was main catalyst in the creation of business intelligence technology. As discussed in one of the previous videos, business intelligence can go against your applications to give you intelligence data or they can also go against warehouses. Obviously this depends on the business needs, what kind of analysis you want to do because warehouse contain data in a very different format in ERPs and other applications data is stored in two dimension formats in, in form of tables here data is stored in cubes you are capturing three dimensions at a time so sometimes you have a need for business intelligence to go against warehouses sometimes you have a need to uh, for the business intelligence tool to go against application so keep in mind that data warehouse is not really a requirement for the business intelligence technology to work most of the recent business intelligence technologies fall in the category of real-time intelligence would go against the transaction processing applications. Web-based technology was emerging fast and now it was possible for the companies to create business intelligence tools that were totally web-based. Now it was possible to access the business intelligence software that is running on the application server through the browser so you do not need to maintain any software on client computers. So this was a big break breakthrough and the application server could connect to the database server to extract the data and to write it back. There are some business intelligence tools still that require client-based installation, but generally speaking, this web-based technology trend is true. The rapid growth of data was another factor that pushed business intelligence technology to be created. In the past, not much data was available, the storage was expensive and not much data was being generated and the growth of data was also not at the same rate as it's happening these days. So data is almost doubling every 18 months in the world and that is leading to another issue called big data. So that is covered in another video, the topic of big data, but here just understand that the growth rate of data was increased with the passage of time and older solutions that were created to address the decision making were no more applicable. Markets were not changing very fast in the past and managers were very close to the market and they could make the decisions based on their feelings. However, these days markets are not the same anymore. They are changing very fast and decision making has to be now mostly based on the solid information and the fact that markets are changing very fast this also pushed the creation of business intelligence technology usually business is the owner of the applications that are used by the company for example ERP applications and so on and IT department is there to provide support to the business business do not want to depend on information technology too much because the turnaround time of the request is not as fast as they would expect because IT department is usually overloaded. So business always wanted to own the reporting and inquiry in their hand. Since the market changes and requirement changes so rapidly, business would like to have the ability to perform ad hoc inquiries on the system based on the requirements on the table at that time and it takes a lot of time to transfer the requirements to the IT and have them create a custom report. The turnaround is not 
very fast and they want to have the ability where they can do any kind of ad hoc inquiries on the system so this is another reason why business intelligence technology became very popular the awareness of the importance of business intelligence has increased with time and this has a lot to do with the fast adoption of business intelligence technology.